and I grew up singing in church. This particular place, and this is my grandma house. I used to come out here on weekends a lot, and right around the corner, like my home church. Growing up in church, I, I sung in the youth choir, me and all my cousins. We used to go like travel churches and stuff. My cousins, my people, like uncles, and that's where I like, learned how to sing. I was just so observational of what they were doing. Just like learning from them, man, how they do things. And so music was like really like big. When I was younger, there wouldn't be no musicians. All you got is, you know, hand clap and foot stuff. Come on, everybody, just put your hands together like that. My sound is, but not so much my music. I take a lot of songwriting techniques necessarily from observing or listening to a lot of quartet music and just instilled it in like what we do. The music was kind of like, I don't know, like it sounded cliche, but it was. It was like an escape from a lot of things. I met Gabe is when I like got traveling and like working. Me and Gabe met in high school. There was like a school talent show thing. We weren't trying to audition together. We were trying to audition separately. separately. Yeah. And then math teacher running the talent show was like, we don't have enough slots. You guys have to do it together. It can work. And we're like, all right, fuck it. Like, what do you know? And then we like, realized we like had like, a chemistry. We realized like we could actually like put together an album. And back then, we weren't going by Young Bulls either. We were just going by <laughs> Tommy and Gabe. Young Bulls, like a name, but just was calling us sometimes. It just kind of stuck. I remember like our first shows, it would be like, Tommy and Gabe, parentheses, Young Bulls. Just so people remember who we are. Gabe, like, he inspired me more than anything. He know we come from two different places. But like, we respect each other because we don't want to see the other like, down, like, and one up. I tell her to pull up, ooh, we, my pockets is full up, got tea. I'm not with that bullshit, cause now what I'm blew up, not me. It feels great to headline a show like this. Um, yeah, like, I remember we played here, one of our first, like, uh, official shows was here. This is, like, one of our, one of, like, Durham's staples, so the fact that we were pulling a good crowd here means we were, like, really in the, uh, in the Durham vibe. It's already packed up there, so like I'm really excited for tonight. Real my city, man. It's a, it's no better place like performing at home, man. Durham is the best crowd ever, 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 ever. ever. Hey. I just want to make sure, goddamn, my mom, like my grandma, and pops, like hey, cool. <coughs> my brother, everybody, like just straight. Like, for real, if I had to do life in prison or something, or life in jail, then all my family could like just be like wealthy and not have to worry about nothing, like no financial or anything. Like I really consider doing it. You, you knock me off of my What she doing, fellas? See, she's turning on my hands, girl.